To ensure that the result will be successful and long-lasting, you should always make a proper evaluation and preparation of the substrate before installing a wooden floor in a new or existing building. Residual moisture, evenness, hardness and cleanness are the most important points to check. Following local standards and manufacturer's instructions is also necessary. The determination of moisture content is an essential part of quality control within the flooring installation process. Flooring installers need to know the dryness of not only the wood flooring, but also its subfloor and the concrete slab beneath it, if one exists. Handheld electrical tools, called moisture meters, should be part of the toolbox of every flooring contractor for measuring moisture in wooden or concrete subfloors and in the wood floor materials. It is equally important to check the percentage of relative humidity of the area of the floor installation as well as the storage space. Prior to any other work, the subfloor must always be sanded. Any latents and paint, dust, residual adhesive or other surface contamination must be removed by sanding with the FlexiSand using sanding disc GRIT 16. In the case of concrete, shot blasting may be necessary. Cleaning the surface with an industrial vacuum cleaner is recommended. Where minor cracks are present on a floor, R400 may be used to effect repairs. If major cracks are detected and there is a suspicion of problems of a structural nature, a building engineer must be consulted. Sometimes it is not possible to wait until a subfloor is completely dry. Protect the wooden floor from moisture evaporating from the substrate with a liquid damp proof membrane. Apply by using a trowel. The key is to have a sufficient amount evenly spread over the surface. After blocking out the residual moisture, there are two options. If the subfloor is even, it is possible to install the wood floor directly on the surface. If it is uneven, leveling is the next obvious step. Leveling compounds are most commonly used to level the uneven areas and or match the levels between adjacent areas. Fitting a wooden floor on a perfect subfloor is indisputably convenient and the work progresses much faster. However, there are other good reasons to justify the leveling. Leveling also optimizes the strength and the absorbency of the subfloor. Wood floors are subjected to dynamic and static loads that have to be absorbed by all construction materials involved. Dynamic loads result, for example, from walking on the floor. Static stress is caused by hindered expansion or shrinkage of wood, which is a result of the normal variation of the humidity in the ambient air. With changing moisture, wood changes its dimensions. Restraining this change of volume causes stress in the wood, in the adhesive layer and in the substrate. This calls for an adhesive able to take such stress and to provide shear resisting bonding of the wood to the substrate, 
Boner's silane-based adhesives solve this problem by allowing the wood to move in a controlled manner. Expanding and shrinking during seasonal humidity changes. This elasticity reduces the stress placed on bonds and because of its strength minimizes gaps between planks. However, for special situations, Boner also offers a wide range of other adhesives. The main arguments for gluing down wooden floors. A glued down wooden floor reduces the walking noise level in the room. It is possible to mix different kinds of woods and create a variety of patterns. A glued down floor is much easier to sand and less wood is removed. A glued down floor can be laid on large surfaces and through different rooms without expansion joints. A glued down floor interacts perfectly with underfloor heating.